Hi, welcome back to uh, Air Engine Research. I have a subscriber who asked about if it would be possible to um, recirculate the exhaust air and reuse it without adding air to the entire system. My answer is, well, I haven't been able to do it and I don't know of anyone who has. So it's kind of like uh, if you're at a door and you're on one side and I'm on the other side, in order to open the door, you're going to have to get rid of me. Otherwise, I put too much pressure against the door that you can't open it. So if I'm gone, out you go. Well, I guess let's get serious now for a minute. Um, I have a open system whereas the exhaust just goes out into the open air and that way I don't have to try to re compress the air or anything. It looks like this. It's got a, a 600 PSI pressure tank and then I've got a regulator that I'm going to run it down to probably 200 PSI, maybe a little higher. And that will go into the cylinder and it will push the cylinder down. Cylinder comes back up then it pushes it out as an exhaust and it comes out of the exhaust at zero or less than 200 PSI, uh, depending on how much power it takes in order to move the vehicle. If it just rolls easy, then the exhaust coming out should be almost zero. If it's difficult, like going up a hill or in a lower gear where you're using more power, then the pressure coming out will be a little higher. Uh, that I, I can't really calculate. Um, but if you want to have a closed system in order to reuse the exhaust, you're going to need to collect the exhaust uh, air and put it into a tank that can somehow increase the pressure from less than the 200 coming out of the cylinder and it has to be greater than 600 psi in order for it to be put into the to the pressure tank and I can only see that that would take more power than the engine produces just to compress that exhaust air up to over 600 PSI. If, if it could be done or if you could find a way to do it that would be perpetual motion. And the best I can hope for is to build an air engine and make it as efficient as possible to conserve the precious compressed air. As far as physics says, it's impossible to have a perpetual motion machine. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. Uh, if anyone would like to make any further suggestions or comments about it, I'd be happy to read them and and respond so until next time